So if you're a Free Fire player, then make sure to remember the names of these five Android OS options, because not only can you play Free Fire on them, but you can also handle everything from video editing to productivity tasks. And the best part? I've personally tried these OS myself and still use them for multiple purposes. So let's begin. At number five, we have Meow OS, a promising new Android operating system that's currently in beta testing. So yes, you might run into a few minor bugs here and there, but when it comes to performance, it actually beats Bliss OS in several areas. I personally tested Free Fire on this operating system and was impressed with how smoothly it ran, and not just Free Fire, but several other games too. Although I haven't uploaded a detailed video on this yet, I hope to publish one by next week. Phoenix OS ROG is lightweight, just around 800 MB, and originally meant for Intel PCs, but it runs amazingly well on AMD and Ryzen systems too. One standout feature is its multi-kernel support. If you face Wi-Fi or compatibility issues, you can simply switch the kernel instead of reinstalling the whole OS. It also includes custom themes and launchers, letting you completely change the desktop vibe. And let's talk gaming. Free Fire, Dead Trigger, Clash of Clans, all performed very smoothly. Plus, it comes with Octopus Key Mapper, giving you premium level control in games. If you're on AMD and want a fast, reliable Android OS, this one's easily worth a shot. If you're using an old laptop with a 32-bit processor and just 2 gigs of RAM, Drock OS is literally made for you. It fully supports 32-bit architecture, which makes it perfect for those older systems without dedicated graphics. I tested this OS on an Intel Atom laptop with 2 gigabytes RAM and no GPU, and honestly, I didn't expect it to run this smooth. Even Free Fire gave me around 25, 30 FPS, and thanks to the pre-installed Panda Key Mapper, the controls felt really responsive. Biometrics OS totally deserves this spot. It's almost error-free and runs surprisingly well on extremely low-end hardware. In gaming, Free Fire ran flawlessly. PUBG Lite was playable at medium settings with 20 to 25 FPS. Traffic Rider stayed butter smooth the whole time. If you need a modern, clean-looking Android OS that works even on older hardware, Biometrics OS is a strong contender. After testing more than 30 Android operating systems, I can confidently say this, Super OS is on another level. Interface, clean. Key mapping, next level. Performance, honestly, I've never played Free Fire with such high FPS before. It also supports multiple kernels, so you won't face Wi-Fi issues. And with gear lock built in, you can tweak and optimize the OS even further. So these were the top five Android OS you should definitely try in 2026. If you want detailed reviews for each one, the playlist is right here. Go check it out.